Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have with me here Mr. Fighter Complex number seven. By the time y'all see this video, a lot of you guys will have already known that Fighter was down here in the DMV. And so we decided to link up and collab. So Fighter's now the third YouTuber I've met in person. A lot of you know I met J-Rod and another Dominican YouTuber, Norberis, in DR. So hopefully I'll be able to meet some other YouTubers here in the US as well. So for today's video, this is going to be the first of my string of interviews that is going to be in celebration of Dominican Independence Month. So we're going to be talking a little bit about Spider's background, his experience and stuff being Dominican, and I'm just get into some of his more current thoughts. So Fighter, as everyone knows, you are Dominican. Mm -hmm. You are Dominican American. You were born here in the U.S., yep. but you did spend some time actually living in DR. Yes, I did. Yes, yeah, so, so do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, I lived in Dior, um, even if, if you count my toddler years, three three times, three different occasions. But I lived there when I was eight for a year, which was kind of interesting because I was supposed to be there only for the summer break, like summer school break. And it turned into a whole year me living there and I went to school there and everything I barely knew Spanish and um after that I did I lived three years in high school okay three years in high school mm -hmm. so it was definitely different I say that yeah it was definitely different so I remember what what stood out to me when I kind of first heard about you or whatever was the fact that you lived in Bonao and um a lot of y'all know that's where my family's from mm. we have our house is, is there in Bonao. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Because I don't usually meet too many people online that either live there or are from there. Yeah. Um, do you remember any of like the, the restaurants or spots there to see if I mm. know of any? Okay. Um, Aquille mm. was like a spot where they would do karaoke. It was like a late night spot. And you, would, you could say family there, you know. But it was like a late night spot to take family or, you know, like a couple thing. Mm -hmm. But it was that they, they serve food and liquor and they, you know, drinking, you know, everyone drinking and performing, people singing. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. The other one was Country Club. Country Club? Country Club. And it's, well, we pronounce it in Dominican. Oh, yeah. Country Club, right? So that was a, okay, because I know there's the, the soda, the drink, Country Club. Yeah. But yep. there was like an actual place too. It was a, as a split. Yep. Okay, I never been to that. And the the food was amazing like i've never been able to find rice get, that could match their rice as mm -hmm. far as in a food establishment you know like a restaurant mm -hmm. um and it was like real nice it's like um when you would eat your table it would have like a like a tiki over it kind of like a oh, hut okay it was cool it was, it was really nice it was really nice mm -hmm. in, in lo barrio de los gringos so i've heard of that that area barrio de, de los gringos gringo, gringo, which yeah. is like the neighborhood of the Americans or of mm -hmm. the white people, whatever, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But now it's like that, you know? Yeah. Did you go to Plaza Merengue? Yeah. That's a, a popular spot there. It's like five minutes from where our house is. And like the clubs, Um. oh, you were so kind of young, I guess, when you Wait, were hold there. on. Plaza Merengue? You, so, when you go into Plaza Merengue, what does it look like? It's it's very nice. Like it might be what you're talking about. Then it looks like the the tables are covered under like a a hut looking kind of thing. Maybe the, that's what she's talking oh, about. Oh wait, wait, country club. What's country club? That's the name of the soda. Oh, that's the name of the soda. Yeah, and it comes in like red and orange. Oh, so you set me up. Oh, you what just, I set you, you up. You just set me up. You set me up. Oh, no. so it is, you're right. It is Plaza Merengue then. Okay then. But I know country club is a drink. You know? Yeah. But damn, hold on. That's why I said, okay, I know there, there's a soda called. But you, but you know about the tiki. Yeah, that's Plaza Merengue. But but then why you didn't stop? Me? Me, why I you didn't stop? Me? Maybe... Yo, she should have kicked like yo. <laughs> no, no, it's Plaza Merengue, not Country Club. No, because I was thinking maybe there's another place that I didn't know of. No, but there's but no no, no but there's a place no no but there's a place called Country Club. There's okay. a there's like an actual place. Okay. Okay. But Plaza Merengue, I, I know about Plaza Merengue, mm -hmm. but Country Club is an actual place too, besides oh, the know. drink. 
Okay. Besides the drink, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I ate that before. Okay. Damn, yo, she was, <laughs> and then she corrected me on camera. She didn't be like, yo, no, no, yo, it's, it's plaza merengue. Like, that's why I, like, I we're said. We're gonna edit oh, it. Because, we're gonna edit it. Besides the soda, mm. I didn't know this actual. No, 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 no. But there's a place called Country Club. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Do yeah. you remember the clubs? There's one specifically called Coconut by the the main park. Yeah, yeah, right. And the other one was Aquario. Aquario, yeah, I've been there. That was like that was a big like the fancy one. Yeah, whatever. the fancier one. Coconut was like for the younger crowd. Right. But the but the thing the crazy thing about and DR, Wendy too. Yeah, the the crazy thing about Dior is their their clubs are fancier than our clubs in America sometimes. Yeah, some of them. And are. I don't understand that because there's such a party like going culture. Mm -hmm. Like you could go to the poorest, most impoverished neighborhood, and they're partying every day. They got the drinks, mm -hmm. food, music. I'm like, yo, yeah. I thought we was poor out here, but I don't they, know, man. They be happy. Though. They <laughs> they still... be, she, there's that that tropical uh, yeah. climate, the the behavior, you know, mm -hmm. the mood. Yeah, that's something I miss from Dior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, something I kind of wanted to get into was when you first came onto the YouTube scene, I guess you could say, um, you came on be being very, like, pro-black. Right. And um, not to say that you're not so pro-black, because, I mean, I think right. that, you know, in a sense you are, like, you. I know that you, besides being Dominican, I mean, you also identify as, like, a, a black man, and you've always been very proud to be black, and... Mm -hmm. I know that you love black women mm -hmm. and um, you talk about how like in DR most of your family was black. So that's mm -hmm. what you grew up seeing. And so that's what you love and that's what you gravitate towards. Mm -hmm. But um, I do think some of us have kind of noticed like a little shift where you're not, it's not so much being pro-black, but you're actually being a little more pro-Dominican, I guess if you want to call it that, and being prouder of being Dominican and I've heard you mention that um that's actually come since you've been on YouTube and being around other Dominicans. Yeah, definitely because I've noticed that regardless of what I look like, I, I still have to know my place. Mm -hmm. And my place is Dominican culture, you know. My parents, when my mother came here, had me in New York, Dominican, she was she came here the first time she came here, she was like in the early twenties. And she had me around that time. And, um, you know, it's like anyone that's from the Caribbean or African country, w once they come here or if South America, they're going to assimilate to the American culture. And who were there? Who, who was there? It was the African-Americans. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of going to combine our cultures and it's going to become its own little group. Right. Mm -hmm. And. You know, we we taking that culture as ours because because I was born here in America. I'm more yeah. American. When I go to Dominican Republic, sometimes I feel kind of out of place. So sometimes I have I feel or have more in common with an American person. But then again, even even though we're all American and we're like colored people or whatever, we still have our little cultures back home, mm -hmm. right? So. I feel like it's important for me to still rep my Dominican side. You know what I'm saying because I'm American, but I got that Dominican flavor yeah. in the fact that I've lived there. You mm -hmm. know, y que habla español, yeah, right, speak Spanish, so mm -hmm. I have to rep. You know, I have to represent. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's cool that you've kind of come into this little community. Even though not not everyone in our little community is Dominican, but there are a lot of us here, so I think it's good that that's actually made you become more proud yeah, definitely. of that aspect of yourself. Because, I mean, I do think, well, you, you do seem to be more in tune, I guess you could say, with the American culture. Right. Since, I guess you right. grew up in that more than the Dominican culture. Right. And I've heard you mention before on your channel that... um. You and your mom, I guess, lived kind of away from the rest of your My family. Because yeah. once we left New York, yeah, once we left New York, we were like, you know. Kind of isolated. Isolated. But we would still always go to New York every weekend. Mm, okay. But it was still like, you know, we didn't have any family members around. 
So, you know, like every other day we're going over to their house for a birthday party or a cookout or whatever. So I, I really didn't experience that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, that okay. that was the interesting part. Yeah. So what would you say is something that you've learned more about when it comes to Dominican history or culture since you've been on YouTube? To be honest, not that much because I already knew everything. Mm. I already, because in school growing up, um, social studies and history was my favorite subjects. And the fact that I went to school in DR, I've lived there so many years. Yeah. There's not much that somebody could tell me about Dominican Republic. I lived there. Mm -hmm. You understand? So even though I, I'm more like in tune with American culture, it's only because I've lived there, you know? Mm -hmm. But I've lived in the Dominican Republic also, so yeah, there's not anything that anyone could tell me because I've experienced it firsthand, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So what would you say are some of your favorite aspects of being Dominican or Dominican mm -hmm. culture? Because I hear you say all the time and I say it too, like we lit over here, like yeah. on YouTube, we be popping. <laughs> people yeah. want to know about us yeah. you know what well and we people be talking about us good and bad right right but yeah what, I, what would you say i feel it's like you could say the exotic look that we have right um i feel like dominicans are beautiful people mm -hmm. right i feel like we're hispanic uh, spanish what i right just what they call it mm -hmm. spanish yeah but we got some flavor to us we got yeah. that sazon yeah so we got the sauce. We got the sauce. We lit the music, the food, the women. It's just we we lit. I don't know, man. We lit, man. Even our language, our humor. Yeah, um, we have a very particular sense of yeah, humor. Yeah, our, hum our humor is crazy, man. Yeah. And, and the other the 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 fact that I love being Dominican is because people would think I'm something else. They will confuse me for African American mm -hmm. or Jamaican, Brazilian, and they'll talk Spanish in front of me, not yeah. knowing that I speak Spanish. Right. Like, bro, I'm I'm Dominican, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a real Dominican, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's what's up. I mean, I've had that similar experience, too, with mm. people not knowing that you speak Spanish mm -hmm. or assuming that you're of a different ethnicity. Yep. And they start saying stuff, thinking you don't understand. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, I definitely agree when it comes to the fact that, um, like, we're just, I feel like we're just a lit-ass people. <laughs> like... The, the culture, like you said, we're Hispanic, but at the same time, we, we got that extra flavor. And I always say, I mean, I know some people may not like that I say it, but I feel like the fact that we are more melanated and have a bit more of that blackness right. Right. in us, yeah. it does kind of set us apart. And I feel like it is mm. part of what makes our culture so lit. Yeah, yeah definitely. You know? I have to agree with that. That, of course, mixed in with everything else. Right, um, of course. You know, yeah. I don't know. I feel like it does set us apart, even though some people want to... Some we don't want to like downplay it or whatever. Right, 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 um, right, right, right. You know, or distance themselves from it. I always say, man, you'll be proud of that shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know? man. I, you know, I love, I love for what I, you know, I love what I am. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Not, not one minute that I want to say, oh, I'm not Dominican. Like, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So, what would you say is something that you'd like to see as far as the future of either DR or Dominicans in general? Because I, I am sure, I mean, you've noticed that when it comes to like the topic of Dominican identity, there's mm -hmm. been a lot of people speaking out about that. And, um, you know, we've always had that that bad image or whatever of rejecting our blackness and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. But... I do feel like there's been a lot more Dominicans openly embracing and talking about it. Um, so, I don't know, like, what would you like to see for us in the future? Like, as far as our identity or something you'd like to see happen in the country? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, to be honest, the mentality of Dominicans that are American or come to America, I actually like the mentality they have. Mm. To be honest, most Dominicans I know that live in America, they grind and they make the best out of the situation because mm -hmm. either they came from a better situation back in the motherland or maybe they grew up knowing what it is for their people in Dominican Republic, how they're living. And they say, you know what, I'm going to take advantage 
of me living in America mm-hmm. and and make the best of it, it being also monetary, you know. But I don't know. I, I like. I feel like I'm proud of what Dominicans are doing out here. You know, mm-hmm. we, we're we're known. I feel like we're known as hard workers or grinders yeah, or hustlers. Sure. So I mean, I'm. I, I, all I can say is, hopefully, um, Dominicans can rep their nationality even more or their ethnicity. You know, even mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much because I'm. I'm for the most part, I'm proud of what Dominicans are doing mm-hmm. in America. Yeah, and that reminds me of how you're always saying, like, you know, you're not oppressed and right. <laughs> all that. You know, you kind of go at odds right. with some other people on here. Right. But, um, you know, I, I I hear you say, or I've heard you say before, like, speaking as far as your family or other Dominicans that you've seen, and you're like, how dare I act like I'm oppressed and this mm-hmm. and that when, you know, people come from, like, third world countries mm-hmm. and they they do what they do they come mm-hmm. over here yeah. and you know they grind and-, and, and everyone's situation is different if you want to complain that cool complain all day but i can't find the space and time to do that because my mother came here not knowing a lick of english doing well for herself mm-hmm. i mean my my brother he went to school in dr and then when he came to america to miami they Basically told him his uh, college credits weren't no good. Mm. So he basically had to restart school. And now this guy owns a nice home right outside of Miami. Right in the Miami area. Mm -hmm. And he was an immigrant that came in in his late, I mean, sorry, early to Mm mid-20s. And he made things happen because he was grinding. So he's living good. You could say he's middle class. So a, a, a guy that's an immigrant that came here in the mid twenties and he was living in a third world country in the slums because I lived there with him before. Mm-hmm. We used to share the same bed, and to see where my brother was, what twenty years later, I'm like, damn, I have no excuse. Yeah, I have no excuse, you know. Yeah, no, I mean I can relate too because my parents, I mean they came from the campo, like literally mm. campo in the middle of the mountains of Bonao, you know, mm. and to see how they've come along, mm-hmm. you know, they went from living dirt poor, growing mm-hmm. up in the 50s and 60s and stuff, coming right. here in the 80s, mm-hmm. they had to work hard, of course, but now mm-hmm. they got a nice house out here with a big old pool, and they got a big old house in DR, an apartment Man. in Santo Domingo that they're right now, like... Listen, I got a lot of work to do still, but... Ain't no excuses over here. At the end of the day, it all falls back on me. Yeah. So, and my that's my dream. My dream is to own a, you know, a home in Dominican Republic. Mm-hmm. So every time it gets cold, like it is right now, I could just <laughs> yeah. I could escape, you know, for for a couple months, you know. Yeah. But that's my dream. I want to build a house in, in Dominican Republic, and mm-hmm. you know, make money out there. Why not? Yeah. Why not? You know. Yeah. No, that's a good idea, and. I I've, I toy with the idea of maybe one day I would retire and go to DR, but mm. probably like come back and forth though. Right, yeah. You know, because cause at the end of the day, you're American, so you're always going to miss yeah. that element yeah. of the English, the culture. Yeah. Yeah. But, but some of like the luxuries right. that we have. Here. But, but it's beautiful though because we can go back and forth. Right. Right? You know, and that's options is a beautiful thing. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe that'll be in my future plans. Yeah, and I always say, if she goes down here in the U.S., I'm taking my ass right, to right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, and I'm going to camp out over there if I need to. Mm. So, I mean, it is nice having that, that option. Yeah, of course. Definitely, know? definitely. And, you know, I see, it's, it's so funny because, you know, I see, like, Americans, like, young Americans. Some of them aren't even Dominican, but I see them moving to DR and, you know, just living their lives out there. And I'm like, damn, if they're doing it and some of them don't even have family out there, like, why couldn't I do that eventually? Mm. You know, I feel like as long as you can find a job where you're bringing in American money mm-hmm. or maybe doing something, whether it's like an online business mm-hmm. or I don't know. I mean, I, I know there's certain jobs out there that do pay in American money. You straight Word. You can live good yeah. out there. Word. Word. Yeah. 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 So, Frida, that's basically all the questions I had for you. Did you have anything else you wanted to add before we end? No, nah, that, that was just uh pretty much. Just um at the end of the day, I want to say is just be proud of being Dominican because we have rich cultures.
culture, rich history. But also, it's okay to explore other cultures. And, yeah. Because I feel like that's what Dominicans are. You know, we're very open mm -hmm. to things. But, yeah, we, we are very unique, I say. We're a very yeah. unique country. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Well, to everyone watching, if you haven't already subscribed to Fighter's channel, mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. go check it out. It is Fighter Complex 7, mm -hmm. right, without the number sign, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you can also follow him on Instagram, also the name Fighter Complex 7. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll check you out next time. Alrighty. Bye. All right. Peace.